I think the experience he's got of winning big trophies, captaining sides to winning big trophies, is, is second to none. And it's just making sure that we, whatever's happened, turmoil's had happened, and we, we can't use an excuse. We've got to we've got to get ourselves together and get, drive forward. Tom, it's been a, a busy 18, 24 hours at, at the training grounds. Um, how, how are the boys after the news of, of Matt leaving and Jordan taking over? Yeah, look, on one hand, they're sad to see uh, Matty go um, because he's a character and, and, uh, and, a, and a good bloke and you never want to see um, good people come unstuck, but unfortunately he has. Uh, and now it's about shifting and, and, and going with Jordy. The, the good thing about with Jordy is that, you know, you're not bringing anyone new in in, in some regards. It's someone who who's been here for a long, long time and has been in the coaches up for a long, long time. And, you know, he's, he's, as we all know, he's a very good bloke um, and uh, we look forward to getting behind him now. And, you know, in the professional world, the world moves fast and we've got to get ready for Newcastle on Saturday. You've, you've been a teammate of Jordan's. You've played under him as a coach. What what qualities will he bring? Oh, look, Jordy is a very honest, um, family-orientated guy. He, he, look, he loves his family and then it, this is his second family of Tigers. I think the experience he's got of winning big trophies, captaining sides to winning big trophies, is, is second to none. And, and you can't buy those sort of experiences. You know, he's gone through them. He's been here 20 years now. He's been under coach, been under different coaches, obviously, with the changes we've had in the last sort of three or four years. Um, you know, so he would have learned a lot there. Look, and, and it's about us getting behind him now and supporting him where we can and and him getting across how he wants to do things and then us making sure we, we deliver that to the player group. We'll talk about the success that as a player, I guess respect comes with that as well, isn't it? Hugely, you know, I think he's got a full respect to the club, I think he's got full respect to the fans because of what he's achieved and, and he deserves that respect because he has achieved a lot in the game and, and he has won, you know, European trophies at premierships, you know, and he's, he's been very, very successful in, in a Tiger shirt. Uh, first game under Jordan um, on Saturday against Newcastle. And um, you won't need much motivating for that one. No, not at all. Look, you know, we all know that they knocked us out at the end of last year, and the the heart still sort of um, lays very heavy on that night. It wasn't a particularly one I'll ever, you know, I'll always remember it, but for the wrong reasons. And uh, you know, we, Newcastle they played well at the weekend. Um, watching them against Saracens, and, and you know, we've been watching their videos and stuff. You know, and it's just making sure that we whatever's happened, turmoil's had happened, and we we can't use an excuse. We've got to we've got to get ourselves together and drive forward. Yeah, um, clarity, I guess, of, of mind and, and message for the weekend. 100%, just get the clarity right, little bits of detail, and, and make sure make sure we put out a performance we can build on, and um, and then we can go forward from there. And I think people are losing sight that it's only one game, you know, lost the first game, but still a long way to go. In yeah, season. I think, look, we, we lost it. We're not particularly happy in the manners we did lose it and how much we did lose it, and you never want to lose a game. But, but stuff happens and, um, you know, it, it, it hurts. And uh, But unfortunately, in this sort of world, you got you have to move on, you have to make the fixes and you have to, you know, Saturday can be a very, very different story and you come off the pitch of a win, hopefully. And, and it all just changes. And, and it, it's, um, I say to the boys, uh, the highs are never too high and the lows are never too low. So, you know, try and take that approach at times. Mm -hmm.